ready. Okay, ready. Hi everyone, I'm Marla, and I have a degree in fashion, and I've worked as a wardrobe stylist in the fashion, television, and film industry for a few years in Toronto, and now I live here. Now, what usually happens, I don't have a timer, when <laughs> I introduce myself and that I've worked in fashion, people think, fashion? Oh my god, don't look at what I'm wearing, don't look at what I put on, I just threw this on this morning. And what they've actually done is taken away the number one thing, which is confidence. Now, what I'm here to talk to you about is whether or not Sault Ste. Marie is fashionable. And I have to be honest, I didn't really think about it that long. The answer just popped right into my head. It was really actually very easy to come up with the answer because the answer is, drum roll, no. Sault Ste. Marie is absolutely not fashionable, nor should it be. Fashion is an art form, and I don't see Sault Ste. Marie as that kind of place that would breed it. There are very few places in the world that actually do create fashion. Don't take offense, this is me and my friends, but we are stylish. So you're probably confused as to what the difference is between fashion and style. And like I said, fashion is a form of art, and it inspires the clothing that people design for us to wear every day. And style is the method of taking those clothes and putting them together the proper way for your body. Um, my favorite designer, Coco Chanel, says that fashion fades, and style will always remain the same. So those fashion pieces that are coming off the runway will not be in style next year, but those classic pieces will. I'm sorry guys, you're probably bored, but you need to listen too, because fashion is something that men need to follow, and style is something that men need to adopt. <laughs> now I'm going to move on and just say that we might not need to be fashionable in the city, but we need to be a hell of a lot more stylish. And case in point, the crazy wear pant that no one knows about anywhere else in Ontario or probably the world, but we, this national pant up here. Now, I just want to say there's no excuse for the crazy wear pant. I will be the one that steps out on the ledge and gets chased out of town with burning torches. Don't wear them. Don't wear them outside of your house. They're comfy, I know. So are jogging pants. Now, the biggest misconception is that you don't have enough time or money to be stylish. But the truth is, it takes just as much time to put on a nice pair of pants as it does crazy wear pants. And crazy pants are actually kind of expensive if you look on their website, because they still sell them. Um, now, I'm going to move on to my theory on the laws of style. And I just have this disclaimer that I have no business creating theories whatsoever on style. But I'm going to give you mine anyway. And the theory actually uses three girls from Sault Ste. Marie, average girls, and uh, we made them over and made them into fashion images. Now, if those three average girls can look like these high fashion pictures, then I don't see why this lady on the next slide can't look like that after picture, with just clothing that fits her properly, with a punch of color and a little bit of style. Now, there's nothing wrong in this first picture if she's comfortable, but if she's gonna say, don't look at what I'm wearing, she's probably not comfortable in what she's wearing. Now, here are my quick tips. Number one, know your body type. Wear the clothes that fit you and suit you and get a tailor. French women look impeccable because they have tailors. Now, the next tip is to use classic pieces in your wardrobe. So you don't need to build a whole new wardrobe. Just get the little black dress, the classic black suit, dark jeans, a good t-shirt, maybe a turtleneck or a crew neck sweater, just those basic things that never go out of style and you won't look at a picture and think, oh, I wore that. Now, don't forget your hair and makeup because going with the crazy wear pants is the mullet. I can't believe it. But <laughs> it's here and it's here to stay. And sadly, like, it's coming back in the, in the fashion world, so we're not catching on. Um, <laughs> you can add personality to your look. Um, by adding those those colorful pieces, those fun things. Um, you know, if you're comfortable, you can be more daring and add it as your whole wardrobe, but make sure that you show who you are through your clothes. Um, and my fifth tip is to go for what's comfortable and long-lasting. Now, that man right there is wearing a silk blend mini jumper. Now, I don't know many men that would wear that, but maybe Jake Gyllenhaal's look with the cotton blend shirt and the jeans is comfy. Now, fat rhymes with bad for a reason. This is a fad, it's the harem pant. Rearrange the letters, hammer pant. Not a really good idea to be investing in those, now is it? You probably just bust those out from the ones that you had before. And on my last slide, I just wanna to say, touching back on whether or not Sault Ste. Marie is fashionable, we might not need to be, 
But this is Sault Ste. Marie as a background for fashionable images, and I think we do have a very beautiful place. Thanks very much.